Hello everyone, Robert Rambles here and welcome to WoW Classic and the Season of Mastery. Today we are going to be doing the Stockade Dungeon. We are going in with a basically at level group. The levels for the dungeon are levels 22 through 30. We have level 28 Gnome Warlock, Gildan. We have Prolomu, level 25 Human Rogue. We have Eshnikat, 24 Human Paladin, Healing. Probably butchered your name by the way. And we have Anastasia, level 23, a Night Elf Hunter. Seems like a pretty diverse group as far as classes go. Should be a good run. Uh, I do have a few of the quests for Stockades. So that's what we're working on. We need the Head of Targor. We need Prisoners, Convicts, and Insurgents slain. And we need the Head of Basil Thread. We'll see if we can get all of those done in the one run. And then we'll find out if there are any more quests. Possibly we'll be doing another run. But yeah, I'm really excited. This will be the first time we are going into the stockades in the Season of Mastery. And we will be tanking. Alright, we've assembled our party. And we're going to go in. Preferably before the event starts, but... We'll see if everybody gets in safely here. And yeah, this should be pretty good. We're all at level. Nobody's too high of a level, so there should be some kind of challenge. Shouldn't be able to just roll over the content, and that's good. Uh, are we going to have to solo this guy? No, he turned around. Alright, we're slowly zoning in. That's very nice. Gildan, thank you so much, man. And thank you for the 10 slot bags as well. They really are helping out. Alright. Uh, do we have everybody? It looks like we do. We'll probably want to keep hamstring up on these guys. It's very likely that they're going to try to run. We'll even go into defensive stance here. Though I will be doing some stance dancing. I don't really know if I want to pull right by these. Maybe I can even just pull him back. I don't want to stand right by the doors, because I, I really don't know what's back there. And I don't know if just being by the door is going to be enough to aggro the things inside of it. Now that we have taken care of this guy, we can peek our head into the rooms. And see what's going on. Yep, we have definitely have made a couple of friends here. get our rend going on both of them. We're probably going to pull a third guy here, so let's see if we're going to be able to do that. I need to get my potions out on my bar. Rather, my one potion. Alright, this is Targor the Dread. We do need him for a quest. I think we're gonna go in on the prisoner first. We'll get a charge in. So everyone looks ready.
Alright, there we go, we'll loot his head. Another massive battle axe of the wolf has dropped. And I think from here, once we are... Once we are healed up, we're gonna shoot right into this other room, I think. Uh, well... Yeah, I think we could charge in here. There's probably gonna be three of them, and that should be okay. Yeah, we only pulled the two of them, so... Ah, uh, that's gonna work just fine for us. And I probably am going to clear out all of these rooms, even if it's not entirely necessary, because we do have the kill quest. I want to make sure that we get enough of each enemy type, and that we don't have to do it on the way back. A lot of uh, intellect and strength gear dropping in here. Some good paladin loot. Uh, for this guy, I'm going to pull him back, just because, again, I don't know if standing close to these doors on the outside is going to be good for us. And I don't want to find out uh, the hard way. get a better angle here we can probably rush in oh nope not gonna happen this time forest leather gloves don't need those It actually doesn't feel very heroic of it of us just coming in here and murdering all of the prisoners. Uh, they, they have no gear on and they barely have any weapons. So I guess we're supposed to feel good about it, but it's kind of hard to when you think about like the mechanics of exactly what's happening here. Is that we're just going into the prison and we're just murdering people. I mean, I get it. They're like doing some kind of overthrow of the prison, right? Uh, but that still means, I mean, they're still without gear and uh, not really much of a challenge for a well-armed group of adventurers. Still kind of feels like... Feels like murder to me. Once we could put a couple of, of uh, sunders on them, they really do stick to us. So that's good to see. Let's clear this last guy here, and then we're probably going to have to split off uh, down one of these hallways, I would guess. Or we could clear to the end of this room and then take on the hallway. I guess we could do it that way.
Not sure where this guy came from exactly. Uh, maybe an ad, maybe somebody we just forgot about. Alright, now we have a choice. Uh, let's head... I guess we'll go this way first. I really don't know. There's probably an optimal way. Um, I don't want to clear it all, so... Healer's at half mana. I'm going to give him a second to see if he wants to drink or if he's good to go. Got some problems over here. The hunter got a little bit too close. It's okay. All right, we got a Ren going on both of them. That should help us hold some aggro here. Really trying to save this potion until it's gonna be like a wipe. Like if I die here, it's probably not a wipe. That's fine. We can uh, we can get a res because they'll be able to finish this guy off. Uh, otherwise, I would have popped the potion, but I think we're gonna hang on to it for a, a boss situation where us staying alive is uh, gonna keep the group alive. No tears, friend. It's okay. There we go. Well, we've got all the prisoners we need. We need convicts and insurgents. And we need to give our healer a minute here to get some mana back. I'm sure that if we wanted to, we could skip some of these side rooms, but I just don't really see the purpose in skipping them. It seems more like a liability than anything else. Alright, he has full mana, and we are going. Clay Ring of the Boar, Spirit and Strike. Oh, hi! Hello there. We're just gonna. noticed until now what a uh, short range our taunt actually has on it.
looks like we're going to have a pretty big pull in the next room. I'm going to try to store up a little bit of rage here so that we can go in and make sure we can do a few things right off the bat. Oh, you know, stance dancing was not a good idea because we don't have a tactician, so we don't save any of our rage uh, when we switch stances. Oh, hi there. There we go. Uh, this guy will suffice uh, to build some rage if we can keep him on us. Do a little bit of cleave here. We're gonna pop this potion early. Probably not the smartest pull, but we managed to survive it, so it's okay. Now we're gonna stop and let our healer get all of his mana back. We don't really need any of the guys in these side rooms. I'm just worried about what happens if we leave them and then someone calls for help. Or somebody runs into a different room. Or something like that. I'm gonna try to pull him out here. I don't really know how many are inside. Okay, apparently he's gonna come by himself. Oh, hi. We're not alone anymore. Okay, so they all decided to come out. Not really what we might have wanted. Uh, we're running. That's great. If you ever need to run from an enemy, you run to your tank. And then you stand on your tank. And you don't stop standing on your tank until your tank has aggro. And if your tank never gets aggro, then you die on your tank. And you say to yourself, well, I tried to give you aggro back, and you didn't take it. But what you don't want to do is run the opposite direction from your tank, uh, because I'm going to want to chase you down to, to help you, but I'm not going to. Uh, because I'm not going to turn my back on all the enemies. Alright, so one room down. Maybe we won't have to clear the other room the same way, but... I don't know. Let's let everybody get their mana back and uh, recuperate after that one. Oh, finger... <laughs> no problem, man. If you pulled that, that's fine. It makes more sense. I like it when people tell me that they pulled stuff. That way I just know what happened. I, I kind of thought that maybe the guy had called for help. And I probably never would have questioned that. Uh, okay. Let's go back to battle stance, and, uh, well, do we want to rush in here? I feel like it can't hurt, right?
Man, we need so much more raids than we're getting. Alright, now that these rooms have been sufficiently cleared, uh, we have Drextran Ward here. I'm not sure we need him for anything, but I'm kind of worried he's going to pull with like all of these guys, and I'm not going to rush in there. Here's what we're going to do. I'm going to come over here like this. Alright, so we only have these two for the moment. I'm just gonna keep an eye behind us here to make sure nothing weird happens. Alright, apparently he really wants to pull by himself. Here he comes. Here he comes. See, this is where if we had not cleared those other rooms, if someone had been feared into those rooms, like, uh, yeah, that would have been really bad, so. It's a good thing we cleared out the side rooms first. Probably always a good idea to do that. And then he runs like a madman at the end of it all, on top of everything else. Yeah, I don't think we need the rest of these guys, but there's a chest back here, so... Kinda wanna go in for the chest. I think we're ready for this. Gildan, I think you're gonna get it, man. I hope it's I hope it's a good one. Large solid chest. It sounds like how can it not be good? Uh, Alright, so we're just headed back the other way and we have to do the same thing on the other side. I'm kinda hoping there's a bunch of convicts and a bunch of insurgents over there because yeah we didn't find any over here at all so that's a little bit weird I will give everybody a second here to catch up as I open the map for some reason because yeah maps are fun I thought I was gonna get him on his own did I no I did not Waiting at least for the healer would have been a smart idea, but I really thought we were going to grab that one on his own. I didn't didn't think he would get far enough, but apparently our rifle takes a second for it to go off. There we go, at least we're finding the convicts and the insurgents now. I need to be making more of these. Yeah, I have one I could make. We haven't been finding a lot of Briarthorn, but I really appreciate uh, the potions and all the help. 
Uh, let's see. What about these rooms over here? Yeah, we're gonna need to clear these rooms. I could have turned my floating health bars on a long time ago and that would have been really useful. I just get so used to playing without them because I find them atrocious to look at and just kind of like visual clutter that I forget to turn them on when I'm in a dungeon, but you really need to. It's, it's a really good idea. It, it makes things a lot easier to notice. And obviously in a dungeon you want to be noticing stuff. Alright, everyone's out in the hallway, our healer's not drinking. To me that says that he is good to go. Uh, we're gonna get this one from the room it looks like. Uh, if not, I'd be surprised. He's really, really close to the door there. Uh, no, he, I guess he's just minding his own business. Now I'm sure the healer will probably want a minute. Or not. If not, that's fine too. I'd really rather not pull all of these guys, uh, so let's just hang out back here for a second. Really need to get this guy off our healer, but uh, our taunt is on cooldown and we don't have any rage, so... Oh, just one second too late with the potion. That is rough. Uh, will they be able to get it? Maybe not without the pets being alive. Or the healer, for that matter. Uh, I think we're gonna release and we're gonna try to get back in here. Oh, we release far. Far, far away. Uh, not that it really matters, we have to run back because, uh, well, everyone's dead. Wipe number one. Alright, well, thankfully, Gildan had put a soul stone onto our paladin healer, so we were able to all get reses. That was pretty awesome. 
And yeah, it just doesn't take as long to get things back up and going again. We'll have to be a little bit more careful, but we are almost done here, so... Should be okay. Alright, we've got Might. Everything's looking good. We have Blood Pact, and yeah, I think we are essentially good to go. It's a little weird to me that he came out here by himself. Um, maybe we should tank him. That would be a good idea. We're really close to pulling this guy. Uh, I think we're going to be okay as long as we head in here instead. I definitely feel like there have to be more quests than I have for this place because we've killed a lot of named guys that we didn't have a quest for. So no doubt we'll have to come back here at some point. Ah, uh, let's see, the healer is not quite at full health. That's kind of like his prerogative if he thinks he can do it. I don't see him going down to... Drink. We got two ads in here as well. Okay, he's drinking now. All right, that looks good. Let's let's go ahead and pull it. Let's get a position here that makes sense. Well, 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 well. <laughs> That didn't, uh, that didn't work, did it? Oh, we got kind of crushed there. Is this guy going to be too much to handle? Or was it just that I can't have all three of those guys hitting me at the same time? Uh, we'll see. We have two pets. We could possibly tank the adds. Uh, but maybe having them all hit me at once was a bad idea. We'll see what we can do. Alright, well, we fought through some ads. We had another disastrous pull that, uh... Ended in a second wipe. Uh, we got a bunch of ads that I think came from one of the rooms back here. So maybe we're just going to pull him out in the hallway. And try to do that. Not sure if he'll come out into the hallway. He, he may not. Kind of 
kind of wanted that one sapped, uh, but we don't have to. that sound is the sound of like jail cell doors opening or something i heard a noise i'm just kind of hoping that it uh isn't anything ominous for us so far we've got no additional ads outside of that one last time a bunch of ads seemed to come from one of the other rooms so yeah maybe fighting out in the hallway was the way to go even though it seems like that's not how the fight would be designed uh it is what worked okay now we can be careful in this next room because uh, I don't want to pull this guy back here until we've cleared both of these side rooms. And yeah, I want to pull both of these side rooms uh, carefully if possible. Yeah, I keep hearing that ambient noise sound effect that sounds like prison doors swinging open and that gets my stress amped up every time I hear it. So it makes me feel like we're about to be set upon by a bunch of ads. Yeah, we need to get in here and clear these guys out. I don't want to take any chances trying to leave anybody up. We do need one more convict for the kill quest, so um, and the only reason we have that many is because of the respawns we had to fight to get down the main hallway to get here, so kind of hoping that we get some respawns, uh, or at least, well this is our last convict I guess, so we should be good. Should be good to go. I don't know what exactly is happening right now, but whenever I hear voice acting in a WoW Classic, it gets me really worried because it usually means that we're gonna have some kind of incoming. Uh, nothing happened there, so that's good. Oh shoot, oh god, we got so lucky there. He could have went right into that room. Just like this guy's trying to do into that room. Okay. Whew, yeah, that could have been really bad. Hey, we hit level 26. Thank you. Okay, let's uh, go ahead and we'll do this. Not gonna help us right now, but that is the build we're going with. Okay, we're clear on this side. Uh, we're clear everywhere, so let's go ahead and pull this guy out into the main room. Uh, we've got his buddy as well. Okay, so that should just leave Basil Thread here. He is level 29. I don't see any other ads in his room. You know, 
I really wish I had a garden where I could put a couple of human statues. It's gotta be slash Joe. God, Gildan, you're scaring the crap out of me with that. It's gotta be slash joke, right? The prison is now ours. Hate to break it to you, buddy, but we've kind of killed everybody else in here, so... And there we go, the head of Basil Thread. That is the dungeon completely cleared, guys. Had a couple of rough spots there. The only thing that really gave us trouble was the was the uh, ogre. And then once we knew to pull him, you know, out into the hallway, it was pretty easy to handle him. No chance of pulling any ads or anything like that once we had him out in the hallway. That's like the main thing is like so many groups will hit a little snag where you'll wipe twice on a boss and it'll just fall apart. Uh, so yeah, I really appreciate the group. Thank you guys so much for being here today. I really do appreciate it. Uh, we'll probably be doing this one again. Not sure if I'll record the runs that we double up on. So we do a dungeon more than once. I don't know if I'll put all those up or not, but if you guys are interested in seeing duplicate dungeon runs of runs we've already done, yeah, I could, I could do that. And yeah, every run is a little bit different, right? Like that time we had trouble with one boss, maybe next time a different one would give us trouble. Who knows what could happen? Well, yeah, thank you guys all for being here. Take care of yourselves out there and take care of each other. And we will see you back in Azeroth really soon. Bye now.